a slight issue with today's recording in that I just went to look in my bag to get the uh, suction cup mount uh, which I use to hold uh, my phone uh, if a car doesn't have uh, CarPlay and it looks like I've left it in one of the vehicles that I moved earlier today, the ambulance. I left it in the ambulance. Uh, so I phoned them, they found it, so I'll be able to pick it up next week at some point, uh, find myself driving through Leicester. Uh, but a, a will finds a way and I've just got my phone rested up against the driver's door, which is why I'm sat this way around. And I uh, just wanted to bang out a quick video before I move this AA driving school car from Reading back home, ready for delivery up uh, in Birmingham on Monday. Um, so what I found really interesting is as I've thought about uh, today's journal entry, it, it struck me how, how, how we often think about time as just being linear and you think about telling a story you know this happened and then that happened and then that happened um, but I'm really struggling to do that because even the fact that I'm I'm recording this is as a result of something which happened after what I'm about to tell you now and there's something that happened just before that that made me think yeah that there there, there is a there is a, a necessity for me to record what I'm doing for uh, posterity or pro, poster, posterity prosperity I don't know whatever that word is for posterity's sake I think that's the word um, and and that one thing uh, was just a, a quote that I saw randomly from a guy called Dan Coe I've looked at looked uh, spent a bit of time um reading some more of his stuff since i found this and he said if you've solved a problem you can start a business and i love simplicity uh, and there was something in the simplicity of that statement that well i'm already starting a business that's by the by but it just made me realize that uh for my business to be really effective I need to record what I'm doing so other people can do the same thing because the because the, the the problems that I'm solving for myself are problems which people like me have. So my thought process was if I can document what I'm doing to solve my problem then someone else who has the same problem you know, they probably won't watch these YouTube videos but this is a way of me articulating my thought process and documenting my actions that at some point in time I'll be able to uh, compile into uh, something which helps people in the, who are in the same position as I am solve the same problems that I have. And the I think I may already have articulated those problems in previous videos and that is that I I find myself at a time in my life where I want a second chance at a creative career, basically. Uh, so I went to drama school, left drama school 30 years ago and worked for a time, uh, slid back into IT. Uh, that spat me out at the end of 21. And now I'm, I, I know that, that, that who I am is a creator, an actor, a producer, uh, and, and that's what I want to do. But I am, however, I am trapped. I feel trapped in this job, moving vehicles around the UK, which although pays very well, uh, limits me in the amount of time that I've got to put into pursuing that creative career. And I know I'm not the only one in that position. I've talked to many actors who, who want to break free, I guess, from whatever... Chains sounds a little bit melodramatic, but whatever they feel is 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 holding them back uh, to to as I say pursue that that creative career. Uh, so so what I am doing, and I know I said yesterday that I, I would uh, ex expand on my and expand on my uh, twenty five year vision, uh, and really I'm doing that by uh, talking about the problems that I want to solve. So 
the, the fundamental problem I want to solve is to find a way of earning a full-time income with part-time work that affords me then the time to invest in my creative endeavors, whether that be acting, whether that be, be producing work, or whether that be writing, that's something that I want to do. I say more of, I don't really do any of it, but I, I there's, 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 somehow I, I, I keep, um, I keep being drawn to, to think of myself as a writer and, uh, and yeah, so anyway, time is the, is the issue. And uh, so that's one problem that I'm solving. And the other problem I'm solving is uh, this whole thing about, uh, you know, whether it be seeking representation or being taken seriously or how to even go about getting a toehold into an industry, let alone a foothold, into an industry that I don't really know anything about. And, you know, there's coaches, you know, up the wazoo uh, who are there to work with actors, work with creatives, uh, you know, help them with the self-tapes and their auditions and, and whatever. Uh, but there's a part of me think that there's also almost a, for people like me who are, are coming at it, either coming at it uh, because they've had a previous go at it, like I did, you know, 30 odd years ago, and they they want another stab at it, or they never really uh, took the steps when they when they could have when they were younger to ha to have a creative career and want a second. In some way, it's still a second chance uh, at it. Um, how do you how do I get taken seriously when I don't really know anything about the business? So. So those are the two problems I'm solving, and those are the problems that I I wrote about in my 25-year vision, and that is that in order in order for me to uh, have a full-time income from part-time work, what I have zeroed in on is is something which the seed was sown when I left drama school, and I remember thinking when I left drama school, you know, I, it doesn't really matter whether you want to be an actor or not everyone should experience drama school or some aspect of drama school at some time in their life because of what it because of what you learn about yourself and about others uh, about trust about communication about confidence about flexibility adaptability uh, you know you do an improv class and you've got nothing to fall back on apart from you know your your wits and your your ability and your trust of the people that you are you are on stage with in in a scene with and so so that's never left me that experience and uh, putting two and two together and getting five like I normally do uh, the business that I'm about that I I'm not I'm about to set up but the business the business that I am going about setting up is providing workshops for companies that help their employees develop and improve their soft skills because all those things that I mentioned are soft skills which employers really uh, rate and value in their employees using techniques, methods, games, uh, methodologies, whatever from drama school and I'm going to I intend to focus on providing those workshops to companies that are B Corp certified uh, that's a topic for another video uh, so yeah that's one of the things I wrote about in my 25 year vision just thinking about what that what that business looks like in 25 years time and then the other side of it is what I have uh, I don't know why why I paused there. Um, it, it's 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 encapsulating this idea of second chance, and I want to create a worker owned cooperative called the Second Chance Cooperative, which is a uh, both a talent representation management personal management agency and a production company within it. So somebody like myself who. Uh, has been out of the game for 
20 odd years can, provided that they've you know, got it, <laughs> uh, that they can be accepted into the second chance cooperative, they can be represented by other actors and creators like them, uh, and and they can also tap into the resources of the production company to bring to life the stories that are in them. And I firmly believe that there are stories locked in people like me that that the Second Chance Cooperative will allow to uh, flourish and nurture and and bring to life. Uh, so there's that there's that community. There's a practical support. There's the emotional support uh, because, like I said, was it last yesterday or the day before? It's all about mindset, baby. And with what I'm going through with getting my mindset sorted out, I know that that in itself is going to be something valuable for for people in in you know months and years to come who find themselves like me wanting a second chance and needing to do that that mindset work first because what I've learned to be true uh, not only from the number of times that I've <laughs> my son uh, gets really he doesn't get annoyed but he kind of ri smiles wryly when I talk about going around the sun but I just think it's a fun way of talk about you know getting old um, not only because of my age but also because of what I'm going through specifically in this journey of uh, moving from uh, owning a company to self-employed driving work to establishing a creative career however that manifests itself uh, I know that, that that mindset work is is the thing which will uh, it's it's the um, if you if you don't sort it out uh, you won't make you won't get the results, you won't make the progress, uh, you won't get out of your own way. Uh, because there's, there's a, a, a guy um, who I've recently uh, started exploring his work called Brian D. Ridgway. He says, the thing, that, the thing that is in the way between where you are and where you want to be is you. Uh, and the only thing that can get you out of your way is by, you know, going inside yourself and uh, and, and addressing those those mindset issues. So, yeah, that's the end of day five. Uh, I think I will uh, record uh, diary entries on the weekend, actually. Uh, and and to that end, uh, just today while I was waiting at a, a train station on one of my journeys, I bought a a, a gimbal uh, selfie stick. Se selfie stick sounds really naff, but a gimbal selfie stick is really cool. Uh, it's um, kind of it's got it, it's self-stabilizing basically uh, so I do find recording these videos in the car a little bit cumbersome uh, especially when I have especially when I have to rest it on the driver door uh, and I do enjoy thinking and talking while I'm walking so so that gimbal stick will um, will help me to to do that uh, I often find myself self walking, you know, either to a pick up or away from a drop off, and through parts of the countryside, which uh, really stimulate that uh, that creativity. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.